Hello, welcome to a new Creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover the brand new native PSD import pipeline of Creature. This pipeline essentially allows you to take an existing Photoshop PSD file containing your character and import it directly into Creature. So let's get started. So first things first, click on Create Project. Let's pick a dummy folder name, a dummy project folder name, and then I'm going to check Use Blank Image. Okay, so this will allow me to create a blank project. So click Create. Okay, here we go. Here's a new project. Now click on Import Texture and select the second option, which essentially allows me to pick a PSD file. So click on that. The Image Packer or Texture Packer of Creature is going to pop up. Now, all I need to do now is click on this button over here to pick my Photoshop PSD file. And let's pick, uh, let's pick a PSD file, okay? So let's pick this character over here. Okay, now the button's going to pop up again and it's going to ask you for an image resolution. This essentially is the resolution that the image packer is going to use to pack all the different layers of body parts of your character into one single texture atlas. All right, so make sure you have a resolution which is high enough. Now, if it's not high enough, it's going to complain an error out, in which case you just repeat the process and pick a, a larger resolution. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see the character's body parts are all, are all now correctly laid out uh, in the texture atlas. Okay, and once you're done with that, just click finish and remesh. Now, let's pick a resolution which is high enough for the grid to mesh out all these, all these regions. Again, if the resolution is too low, it might not be able to resolve the different body parts, in which case you should really just go back and repeat the process and pick a different resolution. It's that, it's that simple. So click OK. All right. And let's see. There you go. All the different body parts are now correctly mashed out. And the other cool thing is they are also all correctly named in as in the original PSD file. So you don't have to do any naming. It's all named out correctly. That's pretty nice. Yeah. OK. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to rigging mode and we are going to add these these mesh regions directly into the rig and we want to hopefully place them correctly automatically too without any tedious process. So Creature has a tool for that. This is the new PSD uh, native import pipeline which does that. So click on tools and then I'll click on setup rig regions from PSD file. Okay? And same thing here, I'm going to pick the PSD file, the, the character's PSD file, double click. And now it's going to pop up with a, with, with a window showing me the regions that it, it found. And that's great. These are all the different regions or layers in your PSD file. So click OK. Now the most important screen pops up, layout scale. OK? Now what is this? So we have to determine how how the scaling, how, how the, the different regions or layers are laid out in your PSD file. And, and a default of 1.0 might not work. What do I mean by that? Well, let's give it a go. Let's click OK and see what happens. OK? So see, now the, the character is, the, this, this is how the character should look like, the reference character. But this is how the imported uh, character in, from the PSD file looks like. They're all spread apart. That's because the layout scale is too large to accommodate the correct position, positions of the regions. So what do you do? Well, no worries. Just, let's just repeat that process again. Double click on that character and let's pick a different scale. So it was too far apart. So if you want to make it slightly closer, just pick a scale which is smaller. Let's try point, let's try point 0.6. Let's see what happens. Okay. And there you go. Look, the character is now laid out nicely on screen. Let me, let me delete the extraneous parts and we are basically done. This is essentially your character laid out in one single step. <laughs> very easily without you having to mess around and move the different regions around and you can just start creating your bones for the character. Alright, so just follow the rest of the pipeline to create the bones for your character and you are essentially done. Okay, so that's essentially the new native PSD import pipeline which allows you to take your existing character from a PSD file and then import it very easily with almost no effort and lay, out, lay, lay it out on screen very easily as well. So I hope this saves you guys a lot of time. And yeah, have fun anim animating. Thanks for watching.